hey, you want to be in an awesome band and wear stage makeup and <laughs> look like crazy people? Well, I'm pretty happy that to show you around in my days I learned a thing or two about this town Well, come on back and I'll keep you up trend Cause everything you thought you knew is saying white or black My name is Jesse David, and I am the lead singer and chief songwriter of the Raccoon Gang. So I'd say I've been in the music industry since 2017. I started learning how to be in the music industry, at least uh, started learning how to be a music teacher since 2013. My name is Aldera Purvis, and I'm the drummer of the Raccoon Gang. I've been in the music industry for 10 years, playing in church when I was a kid, and then later on in different bands around the country. So Aldera and I met actually, I believe it was 2015, 2014-ish. We were actually, uh, I was actually working on a project helping our mutual friend out. At that time I was in college, going to school, um, playing the French horn, so it was not really within my uh, wheelhouse but uh, I very much wanted it to be. So that was kind of my first real taste of like what, a, what the music industry could be as opposed to just going and going to school, playing the French horn, being a band director, which is where I was headed. Band started about a year and a half ago. That was kind of when the idea came about. I grew up and I learned guitar playing Metallica records and that's just kind of where that influence comes from. I used to be huge on classic rock, all these different bands um, from the 70s and 80s that I just loved playing the music. And so I've always had this, this dream and this vision of wanting to make that music myself. Jesse had a group of song, original songs that he wanted to have under a different name than his own artist name and they were blues, rock, 50 songs, and then later on the idea of actually dressing up like raccoons came about. And so I've also been designated the makeup artist. By July of 2018, we had a demo out um, that was just all songs that I, I've written. I wanted to rehash them and because uh, uh, the quality of the music that I had out at that point was not super great. It was sort of just me trying to get it out as fast as possible so that the idea was down so I had something to work with. So I wanted to go at the music again and really earnestly get a better sound and a more cohesive branding style. We really started the band in earnest uh, in a session in January 2019 where we came in to this very room and we played four songs and that became our Demo Days Revisited EP. We started recording the songs in my home studio in Houston, Texas in the beginning of 2018 throughout the year and then started playing them live in 2019. That's been a fun process because we've been able to have them to ourselves and develop them on our own and then got to start playing them live in 2019 and have become raccoons at night.
Well, overall, I would say that the Raccoon Gang, in general, was sort of an idea that I took and turned into almost a caricature of people that I knew that I thought were uh, making bad decisions, to be totally honest. So, all of the songs that I wrote were sort of from that angle. Um, there was a certain there's a certain FOMO that it was, that I was going through at the time, and uh, I had a lot of transitional uh, angst with some friends of mine that I had to get out somehow. Um, so a lot of those songs were written from the perspective of wanting to call them out, but also being frustrated seeing certain aspects of myself that wanted to be that way. So it was a combination of being frustrated with my friends and also wanting to live vicariously through them. I would say Good Hands. Uh, was one of our first was our first single and that was just about the idea of being a bit of a player going out late picking up chicks just kind of playing that part There's not much more to it than that, to be totally honest. Losing You is about how that sort of relationship inevitably usually ends. Frustration and anger and want. And then we have another song called Caught in the Middle, which is sort of a combination of those two ideas, I guess. It's about being in, um, in and out of that sort of relationship, that sort of toxic relationship, but also not really wanting to be out of that relationship, hence Caught in the Middle. And then Poison Woman is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's about toxic people, how that can be problematic. We've traveled a bit. Uh, we've played a couple shows in Austin, um, but overall we play shows in Houston, which in and of itself can really be called traveling for your gigs. For the easiest way of putting it, I want it to grow as big as it can be. I see growing into the opener of KISS one day. You'll be in good hands. Maybe they need to become raccoons by night too. I personally am going back and forth between live in the studio because you get to create the songs, you know, um, in the studio and then see them come to life and get a, an actual response from people on stage and how our expressions are with them and how they react to the songs and then how they like having raccoons dancing up on stage so that's been a fun experience. Playing live is my favorite um, and it's just because I get to interact with the audience um, uh, especially when I'm playing with my friends. I've recently realized that I really don't like playing all by myself. It kind of sucks. And it's a little sad and depressing. And I've realized about myself that what I really love about music in general is just making it with friends. The studio work is also great, don't get me wrong, I love that. But to me, that is more of a means to an end. I, I work in the studio so that I have something to present, so that the opportunities to connect with people and to play with people and play in front of people and present that and just have a good time. That comes from the work that I do. That sort of old classic rock and roll sort of genre was this, the missing piece to what I had in mind for the band. I really kind of just resolved to the idea that I was going to do this thing. I didn't let anything stop me.